Now we're up in Catfish Bayou. We've kind of switched up to our tactics. We got a limited trout. We're gonna go after some redfish now. We're gonna see kind of prospect a few spots where we've caught fish at before. See if there's anything sitting on these banks in here. What you gonna do? Um, shrimp? I won't cut that. Ah, dang it. I had a good one, Ed. Yeah. Crap. Right up the edge up there. Shoot. Mercy. <laughs> Look at all them spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that side. One, two, three, four, five on this side. Twelve spotter. Tell you what, that sucker was about 30 inches or so. That'd be pretty. Spots. Yeah. I'd take pictures and measurements on that one. I'd take the fish home. <laughs> That'd make a pretty mount. <laughs> well, he's still on there, ain't you? <laughs> well, he ain't got much. Huh? Get him <laughs> he can't even take the cork under no more. I'm gonna wore him out. <laughs> All right, no he is on there. What's that little trout? Yeah, my line tangled up. What were you doing out there? little shrimp save them big ones later. I guess somebody's got a little floaty or something like that. There's like a beer can or something floating in there. Ooh, look at that. Ain't taking no drag though. Well, I just missed a good one. He pulled my bait completely off. It looks like he's gonna have a good one. Cooper is hung up on a good red, we believe. Yeah, he'll go in the box. There he goes.
set it on the deck up there. I'll come get it. There's our first keeper red of the day. Good. Good job, Ruth. Made 21. Well, caught two keepers. What was he, Ed? 20? Caught two keepers back to back and just missed another good one. That water is super shallow up against that grass, but that's where they're at. They're trying to get in that grass and feed. I'm going to switch sides with you. I'm going to throw for that point out there. This was a trouted big keeper. <laughs> until he got to the boat. And he's going to be a 20 inch one. You see your rod? Here. I had the neck short. I wasn't ready for that. He felt like about a 16 inch fish when I was bringing him in. Guess what? You get a brother. <laughs> yeah, what I like to do is in the next 30 minutes or so, pull three more off this bank. <laughs> so. I think we'll find them along this grass. All right, Mr. Shrimp, go get Mr. Big Redfish. We need three more of your uncles. Hey, what are you doing there? Hey, he's coming under you. Jumping on top of the water. Switch sides. Oh well. I'm gonna say switch sides to cast at that point. This one's gonna be like one of those barely almost there. If it's a red, 
the way from that motor. Go right to it. And there you go, get out there. in the firewood. He's headed up river. I don't feel like I've turned him yet. That sucker's still going up river, boy. I don't think I got him turned in. That's a good red or black. Is that a keeper? Yep. I don't think so. That's 22 inches. That'll make some fillets. Fillets. He's fighting a hard head. Get out of the way so I can put my fish in the cooter. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, be still, be still. Mm. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Mm. He was hung in there good, too. You didn't measure it? There's the burn starting. Woo. Yeah, he was hung in there good. That's all right. I think I was hung up. No, I couldn't get his fin out of my shin. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> Suckers. I mean, it was in there. Hmm. me. You're right, this is the black drum hole. He probably hurt worse than that catfish. Mm. You want some grippers? I 
I think they're back here. I get it.